Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. As you can see from the screen, today we are going to compare the Chicago White Sox to a team that is probably their only competition in the uh, American League Central Division, and that is the Minnesota Twins. All right, I don't want to say only. I mean, Cleveland is still kind of good. But the Twins really are the prime competition. Um, and you will see that as we go on in the presentation. <laughs> But I do want to, uh, as I always do, I'm going to talk about the Chicago White Sox first. And especially since there are updates to the Chicago White Sox as opposed to the other previous videos I did. So here you can see this is the White Sox lineup for 2021. This will be different than I had talked about in previous uh, videos because we had a major injury um, to uh, our, our main man, Eloy Jimenez, who will miss probably the entire season. Um, but if not the entire season, he won't be back until like probably September. So the new lineup, it, it, it's anybody's guess what the new lineup's going to be, um, but we'll go down it as as we're as we're going. Tim Anderson leading off at shortstop, Adam Eaton and Adam Engel platooning in right field. That's a possibility, but as you will see, maybe not. Maybe Adam Eaton just has right field all to himself. Then you got Nick Madrigal at second. He has Monty Grandal at catcher. Jose Abreu. At first base last year, Abreu had a magnificent year, hoping he can repeat that. Then you got Andrew Vaughn possibly in left field um, and also playing DH at times when Abreu is, um, um, or when, uh, when either Lurie Garcia or Abreu or whoever else in the lineup might be the DH would be the DH. They are trying Vaughn out in left field to see if he can play out there and play reasonably out there. Um, Adam Engel would be a possibility in left field. And as you can see down at the bottom of the lineup, Leury Garcia also could be a possible left field option for them with Eloy Jimenez out. Then you got Johan Moncada at third base and Lewis Robert last year's gold glove recipient in center field. Um, so that's how the lineup is, it, you know, obviously there's a lot of question marks in here. Who's going to play where exactly, how often, who is actually really going to be the left fielder. I still think Leary Garcia is better suited as a super utility guy. So if Andrew Vaughn can hack it in left field uh, and play even serviceable uh, defense in the outfield, I think they are probably better off going with Vaughn out there. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what they decide. So the starting rotation, you've got Lance Lynn, Lucas Giolito, Dallas Keuchel, and Dylan Cease. Those guys are solid. They're locked in. I mean, you know, barring injury, those are going to be the top four guys. The fifth spot could, you're going to see, it's probably going to be a little bit of a revolving door. You could see Michael Kopech later in the year, and he may start the year in the bullpen for the White Sox. You could see Rodaldo Lopez in the case of an injury, but I think for right now, Tony La Russa has settled on Carlos Rodon being the fifth starter in the White Sox rotation. Again, that's subject to change as time goes on due to ineffectiveness possibly or injury or whatever have you. So, I mean, I think you're going to see Kopech in the rotation at some point this year, and you're also going to see Lopez probably at some point. It's inevitable. 
So here you got the White Sox bullpen, uh, Liam Hendricks, who we just brought over from the Oakland A's, um, Evan Marshall, Cody Hewer, Aaron Bummer, Matt Foster, Garrett Crochet, Jace Fry, and then again, Carlos Rodon, Ronaldo Lopez, Michael Kopeck, the three-headed monster, whoever doesn't make the rotation or whoever at any given time isn't in the rotation. Out there in the bullpen, those are the White Sox. Bullpen options. Got to go back. Well, there's the, well, there's the White Sox bench. Um, you got Andrew Vaughn. If he's not in the left field, you got Danny Mendick at second base. Uh, Zach Collins at catcher. Uh, as the backup catcher, Nick Williams in the outfield, Mike Rodolfo, or Mike Rodolfo as a possible outfielder, Leary, Leary Garcia, if Vaughn makes the team, and if he plays left field, then Garcia might be on the bench, and then Billy Hamilton also. And so now we will go on and discuss the Minnesota Twins for 2021. So here we are going to talk about the twins now most of this information that I'm going to go over here I got off of roto champ so I want to put that out there before I get you know comments from any salty twins fans that say that's not what the lineup would be that's not what the rotation would be whatever this was from roto champ so and in fact I did even a small tweak to what RotoChamp said. And also some of the player information. Um, there is a channel I watch, uh, a Minnesota Twins channel. Uh, the uh, person that does that is uh, Tom Froming. And uh, he's got a great channel. It's uh, called TF Twins. I guess that stands for uh, Tom Froming Twins, I'm assuming. But anyway, I will leave a link to his channel below. Got a great channel. Talks about the twins, like I said. And it's, uh, you know, it's where I get a lot of my twins information. Because you got to keep up on your prime competition. And, um, um, you know, and he goes very in-depth talking about the twins in all of his episodes. And also other teams at times in the, uh, in Major League Baseball and particularly in the AL Central. One thing I like is at the near the start of his videos when he puts his name up and the, uh, you know, the channel, uh, the channel name and, and his name, he does it, he makes it look like, um, it, it has the look of like 1980s uh, Topps baseball cards. Really awesome. So yeah, I suggest you check it out. If you like baseball information, he's just another one of the channels that talks about baseball and uh, with an emphasis, of course, on the Minnesota Twins. So some information that will be in this video, I have gotten from listening to some of his more recent videos coming out of spring training. So anyway, uh, getting on with it, we start with the Twins lineup. That's got Max Kepler in left field, Josh Donaldson at third base, Nelson Cruz at DH. Nelson Cruz had a monster year last year. Um, George Polanco at second base. Miguel Sano at first. Um, Byron Buxton in center. Um, Andrelton Simmons at shortstop. Jake Cave in right. And Mitch Garver at catcher. And I think I, on here, I flipped um, Polanco and Sano from what I just said. Um, just my personal preference, I would think they would put Sano in the cleanup spot, but maybe Tom or some other Twins fan can say, no, no, it would be Polanco. I don't know. So anyway, that would be their, uh, that's their lineup. Now you're going to notice on the board, uh, various people I have uh, little red crosses next to, and that means that they are injury prone players again some information provided by tom some of it is well known i mean the fact that buxton is injury prone i don't think is 
a surprise to anybody or unknown information to any real baseball fan. He misses quite a bit of time every season. The same thing with pretty much with Donaldson. Donaldson has missed a lot of time over the past few years. Um, Andrelton Simmons. Now, I did not realize that Andrelton Simmons was necessarily injury prone, but, you know, I guess maybe he is. Um, and then you got Nelson Cruz, who is getting on in years. I mean, he's going to be 41 or 42 years old, so you have to wonder how long he can keep playing at, um, at, that, at the level that he has, or keep hitting, really, at the level that he has been hitting at. So that takes us to the Twins' um, starting rotation. And you've got Kenta Maeda leading that one off. Jose Barrios, Michael Pineda, who is coming off a suspension, so I don't, I'm not sure if he played last year at all, um, but if he did, not much. Uh, J.A. Happ, again, aging, getting on in years. Matt Schumacher, and he is another Red Cross, you know, mash unit guy. He hasn't pitched a lot over the last three years. I think, uh, I forget what Tom said it was, but it was like not even, I don't think it was even 100 innings over the last three years that he's pitched. And then Randy Dobnik is one of their up-and-coming young stud pitchers. Now, uh, Rotochamp had him in the, uh, in the bullpen. But uh, from what I've been able to gather from... Tom's channel, he will uh, be at least get a lot of time as a starting pitcher. And again, the same thing applies to the Twins. It applies to any team. They're going to have injuries. You're not going to have, you know, the same five guys that you plan on being in your rotation are not going to be the five guys that go wire to wire. That's just not going to happen. And then you got the uh, bullpen, Taylor Rogers, Alex Colome who, you know, was on our team last year, and he was great. Um, Tyler Duffy, I love Tyler Duffy. Cody Stashak, Caleb Thielbar, Hansel Robles, who I believe was on the Angels previously, and uh, George Alcala. So that's, their, that's like their main bullpen option pieces. You may see other guys during the course of the year. I, you know, who knows? But again, this is what Roto Champ said. And then you got the bench, and the bench has L Luis Arias, um, infielder. Alex Kirilov, outfielder, good young stud, up and coming guy for the team. According to Tom, he's going to play quite a bit. So, you know. And, you know, particularly if he plays well, maybe a, uh, I don't know if he's going to, I think what I heard was that he's not going to start the year with the Twins, but that may be a free agency clock thing that some teams do. I don't know. But again, if you know differently, leave it in the comments. Let me know. Um, then you got uh, Ryan Jeffers backup catcher. Now, Roto Champ really had Jeffers as the starting catcher and Mitch Garver on the bench. I don't know. Maybe that's because Garver is uh, suffering concussion um, issues and they would start Jeffers, but normally he would be the backup. Not not really sure. I'm not, a, not an authority on the Twins. Um, Brent Rooker in the outfield. Kyle Garlick, backup outfielder. Willens Ostadio, backup catcher, and possibly could play first a little bit of first base. And then uh, Zhu Wei Lin, uh, backup infielder. So that's what you got for the Twins. And of course, last year the Twins won the Central Division. They were 36 and 24. One game better than both the White Sox and the Indians, who were tied for second with the White Sox, technically, as I've said before, being third because they had a worse record against the Indians. And, of course, the manager 
for the Twins is Rocco Baldelli, who has done an excellent job as the manager of the Minnesota Twins thus far in his career, and there's no reason to believe he's not going to have another good year this year. So the question is, are the Twins going to win the division again? No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. Over the White Sox. Um, I was of the mind before Eloy Jimenez got injured that it would be very close and that the White Sox either would or or had the front running, you know, were front runners to win the division. But now with Eloy out, I, I just don't know. I don't think that that's really the case anymore. Um, I think we can, we'll still make the playoffs. I think we can, we're still a playoff caliber team. But unless some of these injuries become huge, huge problems for the Twins over the course of the season, I still think that they will probably come out on top in the series during the year against the White Sox and possibly even, um, you know, and, and win the division. But again, those are big ifs. Um, the depth and the uh, n number of injuries that, that each team suffers going forward, it, you know, could very well determine that. So um, I don't want to say that, you know, and, and really you, you don't play a baseball season on paper, you play it on the field. So we'll see. But I like the White Sox chances of winning the season series against the Twins and the Indians a lot better before Eloy went down. And I like their chances of winning the division a lot better before Eloy went down. Now, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what do you guys think? You think the White Sox are still going to be able to rise above that injury to Eloy? and find a way to do it, you know, bringing back their, their ghost from the past, La Russa, to manage the team, and he'll take them on to victory. Let's hope. But anyway, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And, you know, I love putting this content out for you guys. But, um, you know, if you would subscribe, that would be really appreciated. And then come back and watch the other videos. And by the way, I also have done like 13 other teams that the White Sox are going to play this year. And um, I think I only have like three more to do. Oakland, St. Louis, and the Blue Jays are the only three teams I have left to do. So go back and check out my other um, videos on, you know, the White Sox versus the other teams. And, you know, give those a watch getting ready for the season to start and uh you know we'll go from there in fact this is being released i'm planning this to be released on opening day so yeah i'm looking forward to the season and uh we'll see we'll see if we can overcome and beat the twins this year um, which, you know, and we would have won the division last year, except we had that late season collapse, which was crazy. So, uh, that's going to be it though for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.